Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this device specifications table using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So here we can see that we have this specifications table over here. And if I click on any of these categories, we have the details of that category displayed over here. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this specifications table to your Blogger website. So let's get started. Right here I have logged into my blogger account and uh, here are all the posts. So let's add this design into a post. You can also add it inside a page. So if you want to add it inside a page, you can go over here to pages and click on new page. But I'll just add it inside posts and let's click on new post. And uh, here, let's go ahead and add a title. So I'll just type specifications of our device and uh, let's go ahead and uh, add our code over here so the first thing we need to do is change this into the html view so if it is in the compose view just click on this button and click on html view now here you can add the html css and javascript code so first of all let's add the css so i'll just create a style tag for that and in this style tag we will add the css code so let's go to our source code and i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and uh, here we have the style or css file so let's copy all the css from here and let's paste it over here inside the style tag now let's go ahead and uh, add the html code so let's go outside the style tag and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the html file and we need to copy this html from here now we can just delete this uh, commented code over here so i'll just delete it and now you can go ahead and copy and paste this html so let's copy this and let's paste it over here now let's paste the javascript code so let's create a script tag for that and in the script tag we will add the javascript code so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file let's copy all this javascript from here and let's paste it over here now here we can see if you go back to the javascript file here we have all the data displayed inside this specifications data array and that we have these objects for each of the categories so here we can see the first category is general and here we have general and if i just change this to something else so if i just type updated here we can see that the category name is updated so you can make changes over here and here we have the details so here we can add the title and the value so here we have the title launch date and then we have the value which is the actual date so this is also an array and here we have objects for each of these titles and values and after that we have the next category and we have the same format so if you want to add a new category you can just go ahead and create a new object and add the details and all those values over here so in this way you can change this data to whatever you want and then here we have the html that is displayed over here so here we can see that we have a span with an icon so you can change the icon that you see over here so this is the icon so you can change the svg to whatever you want and then if you scroll down we have the table and we are creating the table row over here and then we have the style or css file where we have added all the styles so you can change the color the font and all those things over here and then we have this uh, container division over here inside the html and here we have the device name so you can just change the device name to whatever you want once you make all those changes to your code which is your post you can go ahead and publish this post so i'll just keep all of this as it is and let's go ahead and uh, try to publish this post so let's click on publish and confirm and here we can see that the post has been published so let's click on view and here we can see that our specifications table is being displayed let's click on one of these headings and let's see whether everything is working all right so let's click on this heading and uh, we have all the details of general category displayed over here and then we have design and then we have storage so everything is working all right we also have the animation for this uh, icon now the only thing we need to change is the color of the text so in our original design we had black color for the text so let's go ahead and change the color over here so let's go into the post and let's go to the styles and here 
inside the specifications container i'll just change the color of all the text to black and let's update this let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page now here we can see that the color of the device name has changed to black and also all the details has changed to black but the heading has not changed color so let's right click over here and go to inspect and uh, here if you scroll down we can see that the theme has already added this color to the s3 so we need to override this color so for that let's go back to our post and here let's scroll down and go to the s3 and here we need to change the color so let's tap color and let's set it to black and let's click on update Alright, now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the correct color for all the text so these uh, extra stylings uh, will depend on the theme that you are using so you need to go ahead and inspect the element and uh, see what styles are added by the theme and then you need to change the styles in your post so that's basically how you can add this uh, device specifications table to your blogger website all right, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.